Yeah. This is a cause I think that we can all support. Let's take a look <laughs> at what's happening out there this morning. It's chilly, but it's not flat out cold, at least by January standards. Temperatures are mostly in the mid 30s, 34 degrees in Smithfield. Our average low temperature is below freezing by a degree, but still below freezing. So if we're above, we'll take it. 34 degrees as well in Goldsboro. There's a layer of clouds overhead that's kept our temperatures nearly steady for the past few hours. Some spots have even warmed up a degree or two, and Raleigh is one of those spots. 34 degrees right now, 33 degrees in Durham with 35 in Chapel Hill. Just low to mid 30s everywhere around the triangle. Yeah, you need to bundle up as you're heading out the door, but again, it is not a frigid January morning. That's going to wait until about six days from now. Next Monday is looking just Arctic. <laughs> this big chunk of cold air heads down our way, so kind of brace yourselves in advance. In the short term, we get a warming trend. Upper 30s right now around Cumberland County. Temperatures today will be warmer than yesterday. Better dog walking weather for Heidi and Princess, our dogs of the day. Thank you, Dallas and Stella, for sharing that picture with us. Looks like they're content just kind of hanging out for right now. Temperatures are going to warm up to the mid to upper 40s this afternoon. A few degrees below average, but warmer than yesterday, and certainly warmer than Sunday. And that sun will break through these early morning clouds. Should see plenty of sunshine throughout the afternoon. And then clear skies tonight, which means our temperatures drop back off. We'll start off tomorrow morning in the upper 20s. A slow climb this morning because of those clouds blocking the early sunshine, but we should be in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees from the triangle northward by noon, mid 40s already farther south, and the farther south you go, the better chance you have of hitting 50 degrees, especially in the sand hills and the southern coastal plain, but yeah, mid to upper 40s is about the best we can do around the triangle. That next chance of rain heads our way late Thursday. Futurecast keeps it out to our west until after the sun goes down Thursday evening, and temperatures are still going to be in the 50s for highs on Thursday. They'll only drop into the 40s overnight. It will be warm enough that all this is going to fall in the form of rain. But a stronger storm system is going to develop and head our way over the weekend. Everything depends on the path. So for this particular storm, the most likely path is going to bring us rain because that center of circulation is going to go a little farther to our west. That keeps us on the warmer and rainier side. The next most likely scenario would be that we get mostly rain, but maybe a little bit of a wintry mix right at the tail end of the system. The least likely scenario, again, this time around is that this goes closer to the coast and puts us on the snowy side. That does not look like it is going to happen around here, but it's something we'll keep an eye on. The forecast model data is kind of all over the place. This is a comparison between the two major long range models for Sunday evening, and you can see they have a whole different version of what's going to happen. It is going to be mostly rain, but that one on the left does try to bring in a little bit of snow right at the tail end of the system. Again, I'm not quite buying into that just yet, but it's something we'll keep an eye on just in case because it's winter and well, weird stuff happens once in a while. In the short term temperatures warming up from the 40s today up to about 60 degrees on Friday looking nice for the end of the work week and the first half of the weekend looks pretty good. All right yeah 60 will feel nice before the next big arctic blast. Yeah 35 next Monday. Yeah as the high guys. Yeah. The high. <laughs> Let's clarify. <laughs> yeah, big thumbs down for that. But it's January. <laughs> it is January, and it is expected to be that.